so I split up this little note section in three pieces, which I think is kind of a nice thing to do. You want to do that too. And first thing we'll talk about are our horizontal lines. What kind of slope does a horizontal line have? Zero. So I hear some people say that they have no slope. Horizontal lines have no slope. I don't like that because it's kind of confusing. Does this have no slope or is this no slope? And some people will say this is no slope. Some people say that's no slope. I don't like to use that as kind of ambiguous. So this is zero slope. And what's this slope? Undefined. Zero undefined. Okay. But horizontal lines have a slope of zero. There's no change in Y. Okay. Need you to remember something else from a few weeks ago. Our slope formula. That's my slope formula. It's rise over run, but what's another? Like, how do I actually calculate it? Perfect. Exactly. It's my change in Y over change in X. And if I have no change in Y, then that would mean that my slope is going to, my formula would look like this. Zero over change in X. And if you take zero and divide it by anything, always end up with zero. So that's why my slope is zero for a horizontal line. And then one other thing. So for horizontal lines, <coughs> My equation always looks the same. What did we say the equation was for that D mobile plan? Y equals 30, right? My equation for a horizontal line always looks like that. It's always Y equals some number. Not X, not X, because there's no X in there. There's no change in X. Y equals X is a, is a different line. Y equals X looks like this. It's this line. That's not horizontal. Y equals a number, some number. You can put Y equals N, but not, not X. That'll get confusing. Sure. Okay. So now, so that's horizontal lines. And this is kind of how I remember horizontal lines. Oi. Oi. Like today in Spanish. Oi. Horizontal lines, zero slope. Equation is y equals a number. Horizontal lines, zero slope, y equals a number. Okay? So that's horizontal lines. We also got to talk about vertical lines. And again, what's the slope of a vertical line? Can you guys cut it out with the whatever you're doing? Have a slope of what? Yeah. I meant to write have an undefined slope, but that works too. Undefined. Undefined. Not no slope. Undefined slope. And if horizontal lines have no change in Y, vertical lines, what do you think? Uh -huh. No change in X. And again, if I thought about that in my slope formula, if I had no change in X, then that would mean I'd end up with whatever my change in Y is over zero. And can you divide anything by zero? No. no, you can never divide by zero. That's why that's always undefined. Okay. And again, use some logic. If my equation for a horizontal line is y equals some number, what's my equation for a vertical line? Yeah, x equals some number. 
and I remember that using this little mnemonic device, that's what they're called, right? Vux, V-U-X, vertical lines, undefined slope, equation is X equals some number. Okay, and then let's draw a picture together. So we've got a coordinate plane. Coordinate plane. If I see this formula, is that a vertical line or a horizontal line? X equals four. Mm -hmm. Right? Vertical lines have an equation that look like this. X equals a number. So I just go to where four is on my x-axis and I draw a vertical line through that point, right? And every single point on that line has an x-coordinate of four. All points have an x-coordinate. Sorry, x coordinate. I just wrote that as chord. X coordinate of four. And then if I have this equation, y equals negative two, is that horizontal or vertical? Y equals negative two? Horizontal, right? So again, I find negative two on my y-axis this time. And that is my line. And what do we know about all points on this line? No. Okay. On my vertical line, x equals four, all the points have an x-coordinate of four. On my horizontal line, y equals negative 2, all points have exactly a y coordinate of negative 2. Okay. And what do, what do we call this line here? The y-axis, what would be the equation of the y-axis? Huh? No. You're right. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Is it? Is that a vertical line or a horizontal line? The y-axis. Huh? Vertical. The y-axis is a vertical line, so what does the equation look like? x equals something, what is that x going to equal there? Zero, right? So my y-axis, the equation of my y-axis is x equals zero. What's the equation of my y, or of my x-axis? y equals zero. It's kind of counterintuitive because the x-axis is y equals zero and the y-axis is x equals zero, okay? All right, let's come on down. Okay, number one, got to find the slope of the line that passes through these two points. How do I find the slope of a line when I'm given two points? We're almost there. Slope of a line given two points, what do I do? Yeah. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it would be negative 5 minus 6. Perfect. Over negative 8 over negative 8 minus negative 6. Perfect. What's negative 5 minus 6? 1. 11. Negative 11. 
And then what happens down here when I'm subtracting a negative number? You add. So yeah, it's zero. Negative eight plus eight is zero. Can I divide by a zero number? So what's my slope here? Yes, undefined, not zero, not 11, undefined. It's okay. When you see zero in the denominator, your slope is undefined. And slope undefined, is that a vertical line or a horizontal line? Vertical. Yeah, is that what you meant by that? So what does my equation look like for a vertical line? X equals something. What is X going to equal for this line? Not negative 11. Not zero. What's my equation? Think about the two points that were given, negative 8, 6, and negative 8, 5. So negative 8, 6, and negative 8, negative 5. What's my equation of this line going to be? Huh? Yeah, it's negative 8. Negative 8. And how did you figure that out? How do you know that? Yeah, the x-coordinate of, of negative 8, right? They both share that x-coordinate. So that's where that comes from, negative 8. And then if you just graph that line, it's right there. Vertical lines are negative 8. Yep. Keep on trucking. Let's go. Write an equation for a line that has a slope of 0. What does that mean? What kind of line is it going to be with a slope of 0? Vertical line or horizontal line? Horizontal. What, do horizon what does the equation of a horizontal line look like? Y equals some number. And it's going to pass through this point 5, 4. So what is my equation going to be then? Yeah, Y equals 4, right? Because that is my Y coordinate there. Okay. And then, so there's only really one option for to draw a horizontal line to go through that point. There's only one possible way to do it, just like this. Horizontal line passing through that point. Okay, so we graphed. Graph that, graph this. Okay, I already kind of told you to answer this one, but if we graph these lines, x equals 0, y equals 0, huh? No. Hmm? They would meet at the origin, yes, but what are those two lines called? What is, what is x equals 0? Look up at the top of your paper. x equals 0 is what? That it has a slope of undefined, yes. What are the two parts of your coordinate plane? Your x and y axis, right? Which one is x equals 0? Which axis is that? The y axis, the vertical axis, right? This is a vertical line. And it's the y axis. So tell me what to write here for y equals 0. Perfect. And last thing, wow, that was too much to do in one class. I'm sorry, guys. What's the value of J here? I've got a horizontal line that passes through. Yeah, right? It's a horizontal line, so that means that my Y value is always going to be the same. So J is going to equal 9. Go and put those in the inbox. Oh, huh? Chairs. Yeah, stack the chairs, please. Turn those in the inbox. All right, we are going to, I'm going to give you some time tomorrow to finish up a couple things that you started before break. And then we're going to do, make a little study guide. And
and then probably play a quick loop or something to get you prepared for your test on Wednesday. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. See ya. Have a good day. Thank you. See ya. Have a good day. Thank you, YouTube. Thanks, Mike. I didn't mean to come in late, by the way. I haven't oh. talked to my pals about something. Yeah, that's okay. No problem. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Um, I marked you unverified, but I can go in and change it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night.